Hi, I'm Charlie White and today I'm going to show you how to replace the central element in a Dulit toaster. So in my case the centre element has broken, but don't worry because if it's the end element, i.e. one of the two side elements that's gone in your toaster, exactly the same principles apply. So you can watch this video and just take out the relevant section. We've had this toaster for 13 years now. They're the Land Rovers of the toaster world, handmade in Britain. So I figured let's try and fix it rather than buying a new toaster. And the reason it needs repairing is because the central, the center element has stopped working. You know the central element is gone because when you lift the toast out, only the outside of each piece is toasted. I found that Julet, uh, they're very helpful and came up with a price of £13.80 including VAT and carriage for replacing the centre element as opposed to the price of replacing the entire toaster which seems a bit of a bargain when you think that a brand new one of these would cost you over £100. So, several days later this arrived in the post. Inside, we've got a very helpful set of instructions to show you how to replace the element and then you've got the element itself. So I'm now gonna follow the instructions and show you how it's done. Today's toolkit is brilliantly straightforward. We've got a 6.5 millimeter spanner and a screwdriver. This is actually a posi drive, um, I think PZ2 to be precise. So, step one. Remove the crumb tray, turn the toaster upside down, and we've got to unscrew the feet to remove the base tray. Two other screws. Now the base plate should come off. There we go. Okay, next step I've got to loosen the locking nuts on the retaining plate using a six and a half millimeter spanner so that I can slide the retaining plate back. So you need to get yourself a six and a half millimeter spanner which you'll be able to get from any good DIY store. Okay, now that's slid back, so that's good. I've now got to unscrew all of these brass links and wires which will free up the um, central element. I'm not going to lie, this is a little bit tricky, but you can actually slide the elements up a little bit, which helps you to um, get the screwdriver into the into this screw. These are going to be completely unscrewed. That's the first one undone. Okay, that was literally all I need to do for the central element. I can now slide the element out. There we go. And then put the new element in, in its place. All right, it's a good idea to bend the brass retaining plates away slightly before sliding the element back in so that you don't scratch the sides of the element. So now it's just a question of putting the locking nuts back in place on the retaining plates. And the nut goes on. Now I'm just reconnecting the wires. Now I've just got to slide the retaining plate back into place and tighten the nuts on it. It's 
So we're in the home straight now, we've just got to put the base plate back down and screw the feet back on. I'm using an electric screwdriver but you can use a manual one. And finally we've got the two shorter screws Okay, so that's the toaster repaired, hopefully. Put the tray back in at the bottom. So, this is the moment of truth. We've got our piece of bread, and I'm gonna see if it works. Okay, that's a good sign. The switch lights come on, which means we've got a circuit. Hooray! Toasted on both sides. We've got ourselves a repaired toaster. So I really hope you found this video useful today. Let me know what you think in the comments section below and if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link here.